This is Fudge Films. Coming up next, our feature presentation. Hi, I'm Pete Fear Game for Pete Fear Games Pizza Emporium off of Route 1445. And I'm here to tell you, dear listener, viewer, person, that we have a new employee of the month here at PFU Games Pizza Emporium. That's right, our good friend Columbo in the back has been with us for 52 years. And in those 52 years, Columbo has been employee of the month twice. And this is the second one. Let me tell you about Columbo, because Columbo is part of the, the PFU Game family. PFU Game Pizzas and Family family. And with him, we've been able to run our business for several years. He started working here when my father owned the place, P. Fear Games Senior. And P. Fear Games Senior, he was a nice, kind man. He was a great man. He was my dad. And he said to Clumbo, he said, Clumbo, get, come work. And Clumbo came to work. And because of that, clumbo has been here for 52 years. And um, he does a very good job making lots of pizza. Uh, his favorite pizza to make is garlic pizza. Um, and uh, because of that, we've had to um, issue uh, odor citations. But Clumbo has been resistant, resilient, and um, cool. He's cool. So because of that, I would like to bring Clumbo out, um, and Clumbo's going to say a couple of words to all of you. Let's go, Clumbo. Oh, that's right. His uh, his family called and uh, said that he's uh, unfortunately he's deaf now. Was it deaf or dead? It was definitely dead. Clumbo. Hi, I'm Pete Fear Game from Pete Fear Games Pizza Emporium off around twelve twelve. And let me tell you, don't you sometimes feel like the golden days are gone? Like you'll never live up to what you once were or were promised to have? Don't you sometimes feel like you've made too many mistakes, but the mistakes are outside your control and you're just fighting and trying to stay on track, trying to achieve something, but everything else in your life's falling apart and you're getting accused for things that you never uh, did uh, so much as ever thought about doing, and so instead everyone's pushing away from you, everyone's leaving, your friends don't want to be around you, your significant other has left flat out, you're... <sighs> All your dreams are being crushed slowly and slowly and you realize you're stuck in one location, you're stuck in one place, you're stuck in a dead-end job that you just hate with every fiber of your being. And more than anything else in your life, you just want to be out of there and living your dream and doing the best you can, being the best you, but you know you'll never get that shot 
and and uh, maybe you had that shot before, but you completely dropped the ball on it because you were too afraid to take it, and you're realizing more and more that your life is just control controlled by your own anxieties and fear, and so now you're just left with an empty life that you're trying to put meaning back into by making a uh, high quality pizza. And it's just all falling apart no matter how much you try because truth be told you're not even that good at making pizza and so you're just trying your hardest to learn more about pizza and learn more about ingredients and learn more about all the things that go together to make a great pizza and so you're just stuck you're stuck learning but you're not really learning because you're not really getting any information you just have to make your own assumptions and the only way for you to truly learn would be to blow away your fear but you can't do that because you have too much anxiety you have too much fear about getting rid of your fear and so you're just left living an endless hell of a life medium cheese Go them young. Go them inexperienced. Just don't call them mediocre. Me, I call them dangerous. But who am me? I'm Lieutenant Inspector Nate Danger. And in all my years, I've never seen a comedy group that makes me smile as much as Fudge Fields. But who are they? What? about them is so intoxicating to an obsessive middle-aged man. This is what I'm here to show you. This is the Fudge Files. Mike, the captain, loud, arrogant, greedy, the leader of Fudge Fields. Mike takes great pleasure in the creation of Fudge Films, quote, content, unquote. Or rather, he takes great pleasure in the financial haven that is internet comedy. For a while, we perceived that Mike only cared about financial restitutions owed to him by his, quote, chat, unquote. But recently, we've received intel that leads us to conclude there is one other thing Mike cares about. Clayton. It's unknown why anyone cares for Clayton, but one can assume getting between the two of them would be like getting between a doggy and a smaller doggy that the bigger doggy wants to play with. That being said, his compassion may be his downfall, as Mike is quick to temper and quick to act, doing before thinking. His anger has led Fudge Films into many precarious situations, like the Great Fish Fight of 2017, or the Pancake Panic of 2018, or the Fish Fight Round 2 of 2019. Without Mike, there is no Fudge Films, and without Fudge Films, there is no Mike. Threat Level Cherry. It is my hope in greatest fear that Mike continues to push Fudge Films forward and into the public eye. Hopefully we'll all be blind by then.
And now, our feature presentation. Hello. Hey, it's uh it's Friday night. Do you know where your entertainment is? Congratulations. Loud, loud, Mitty. Loud. Calm down, Mitty. Down, boy. Down. Heal. Uh, you just found it. It's Friday night. A hot Friday night. It's June, which is Pride Month. So, you know, actually, that's a, that's a really good point I just made. Where's our, where's our donation bar? There she is. $140. We hit our initial goal of $100. If you don't know, if you don't know. We're doing this month-long event called Fudge Films Prides Themselves. In which uh, I'll be playing uh, games with LGBT plus characters, themes, or creators. And we're going to be raising money for the Trevor Project. Which I just... Listen, I just got home. I just bought my car for realsies. And so I'm, I'm sitting on the throne. And I'm checking Twitter. And uh, it looks like uh, uh, fucking President Dingus just uh, took away uh, health protections for LGBT people plus people. Is that true? Because if so... What the fuck? What the fuck are we doing here? I guess what we're doing here is this. Not to get political or anything. Guys, don't you just hate when basic human rights get political? <laughs> but we're raising money for the Trevor Project. Because our fucking government doesn't want to help out LGBT plus people. So... You can... There's a big orange button. You can click that and donate. You can hit exclamation mark. Donate in chat. You can type that in and the bot will send you a link Whatever you want to donate whenever you want to donate. It's there. Let's help some fucking people and let's play some games tonight Let's have a couple laughs because Jesus Christ. We need them Now that's things to come Let's talk about things that happened Namely, I'm sitting here at my desk. I'm waiting for you know the last, uh, the, the Fudge Files video there to finish playing. The last little ad thing. I'm sitting there. I'm opening up my mail. Um, if you know, I've got, I've got a, a pocket knife. I keep on my desk. A little dinky thing I've had since I was 12, okay? A little thing. If I get really, uh, you can tell it's, it's a giveaway. I'm gonna let you in a little trade secret. A little Mike Ryder trade secret. If I'm feeling particularly off, like I'm not here right now, I'll play with this little knife, right? I'll flip it out and on. Not advisable. Kids don't do it, right? Because I just fucked up. I'm opening mail. I'm playing with my little knife. I'm opening mail. And I go to cut the mail open and I go whoosh, and stick myself right in the chest with the knife. And I'm not talking about like a little like boop. I'm talking like the knife's like sitting there. And I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. So it, you can't see it through the shirt. I, I wiped, there was, a, there was a little a little smidgen of blood. Clean that up. I would lift up my shirt and show you. There's probably like, I could probably show you a little thing. But um, I'm a little bit too voluptuous for Twitch. So I stabbed myself today. Good stream. <laughs> that was, um, you know, not really how I wanted to start the stream. So, uh, but we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Let me tell you, we're playing a game called If Found. Uh, it's got good reviews on Steam. It was recommended to me by um, a couple of my LGBT plus friends. And it's two hours long. So we'll actually be able to finish it tonight. In theory, in theory, in theory, mark my words, 
and kiss my ass. So, we're going to get to that. But I want to see some donations come in. I want to I wanna see the, the power of positivity. That's copywritten by WWE. I can't do that. But I hope to see you guys sending in those, those dollars to help out a good cause. Because I'm fucking pissed and uh, about the government. What else is new? And again, I'm matching every donation. I'm not even putting a fucking limit on it anymore. I'm matching every donation. So, get donations in. Clayton, you haven't donated yet. I'm gonna kick your. Look at, look at, look at this. You see this message down here? Look at this. Hello, streamer. Where do I donate to Germa's recovery fund? Smile. Germa, listen, we love Germa, we respect Germa. We're, you know, we're missing him right now. Get well soon, Germa. Love ya. Fuck him. The Trevor Project needs your money more than Germa. Germa, listen, Germa's built a house out of money, dude. Germa's got a... What's... Uh, hold on. Germa985 net worth. Look at that. He has a net worth of a... A hundred and twelve thousand dollars. You see this? Germa doesn't need your money. At-risk LGBT youth need your money, Clayton. So where's your donation, Clayton? You said you were going to donate after the gas mask showed up. Well, we're waiting. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm done. I <laughs> I'm done harassing Clayton. I I I promised myself that I would harass Clayton before the stream because I haven't been able to talk to Clayton that much in like two days, and so I just wanted to harass him at the start of the stream. Listen, buddy, you donate when you can. If you can't donate, that's fine. I'm not. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just a joke. <laughs> This is called, um, How to End a Friendship 101. I'm good at this class. Let me tell you, I got an ace in this one. Do a live reaction stream to Bed Banana's new video. Uh, I mean... See, the goal with our stream is to not get taken down. Also, I've already watched it. So, like, what is... My reaction's gonna be like, oh, I remember this part. Yeah, yeah, this is a funny part. If that'll get you to donate, though, I'll do it. It's just gonna be really fucking boring for everyone watching. I mean... <laughs> that's on you, you know? And you know what? Fudge Films just got paid... Well, no, Clayton didn't get paid for this. He doesn't get a cent off of this. We, we just got our first ever paycheck... Uh, for from Twitch, we like today. I got the email last night. It went through today. Uh, we got our first ever paycheck from Twitch. Now most of it is my own money, <laughs> for, because I gift so many subs. But some of it's someone else's money. I think. So that's kind of nice. And uh, I will pay Clayton accordingly. Don't worry. I'm not that kind of boss. Streamer scam me out of $500. You haven't donated yet, you dink. <laughs> this is... Viewers, isn't it fun to watch a streamer and a viewer argue about how much money the viewer is going to donate? Isn't that a fun stream? <laughs> Clayton, you donate when you can what you can, you know? I, uh, I, you know, it's all right. What isn't all right is that we're not playing this fucking game yet. Why aren't we gaming? We need to game. I'll donate my Fudge Films paycheck. Smile. Okay. Legitimately, your cut is forty-five dollars. I'm not joking about that. Your cut is forty-five dollars. It was actually going to be 44 but I, I wanted to give you an extra buck. I decided to round, round up with you and round down for for me. Yeah. 
I think I did the math on that right. Calculator. So here's how the money gets divided in Fudge Films right now. It's uh, a third goes to Clayton, a third goes to me, and then a third gets snuck away to slowly build up a Fudge Films fund. Well, that's not right. Yeah. Yep, 45. Yeah, you've given me $12.50 of this. Yeah, you're making out like a bandit, dude. So if you want to, you know, if you want to donate $45 at some point during this stream so I don't look like an asshole, that'd be appreciated. And then I'll give you your cut, your, your 45 Later. Next time I go to the bank, probably. Anyway, that's all. We shouldn't be having this conversation on stream. This looks real weird. This is real sus. Um, I only want to talk about money on Fudge Films whenever we're talking about how much I'm making. How rich I am. Hey, streamer, can I donate with a credit card, Pog? Yes, actually, you can. Yes, actually, you you can, I believe. I mean, it takes PayPal, so I don't I don't know. Yeah, credit card, donate PayPal or credit card. <coughs> yes. Anyway, we're playing If Found. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Clayton just did it in chat. He did exclamation mark BLM. Uh, I'm keeping that up for as long as I can. Um, it'll link you to the blacklivesmatter.card.co, which will take you to petitions, uh, fundraisers, resources, numbers to text or call uh, to support Black Lives Matter. So make sure you do that, too. Okay. I'm going to get on with the game then. Hi, am I back? Hi, am I back? The moment I said, okay, let's play the game, my computer crashed. Is this working? I don't know. Can you see me? Am I going yet? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, Clayton's saying yes. My phone's locked up. On my phone, I don't know if you could see this. No, I'm just sitting there. I'm not doing anything. My phone, I'm completely locked up on my phone. Well, that was fun. Literally the very second I said, okay, let's play the game. My whole computer went down. So this, this VOD's going to be interesting. I don't know if the VOD's going to carry over. I don't know if I have two VODs I'm going to have to stitch together. But don't you just fucking love technology? Isn't it just a fucking hoot and a half when it falls apart like this? And the great thing is, is we have no idea why this is happening. We have, we have no clue. What fixes it? 
is that uh, I punch my computer. When I punch my computer, it works. I don't know why. It's the old it's the old rider touch, you know. My dad used to uh beat record players um and lawnmowers and they used to work again. So it's the old it's the old rider touch. We got to get that browser source going again. Good save, good save. <laughs> Whoa! What? Uh, Smile donated $44.69, and their message was, Smile, well, that's really nice. Thank you, Smile. Uh, Clayton, when are you going to donate? When's that happening? Are you, um, you going to donate anytime soon? Or No, Smile. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, thank you to Smile. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much. We're we're now we're sixteen dollars away from hitting our two hundred dollar goal. That's nuts. So get those donations in, and Clayton and I are going to do a cooking stream called Cheap Creates, where it's like gourmet makes, but we try to make a fancy meal as cheaply as possible. It's going to be a fucking nightmare. So get those $16 in if you want to see that. And we've got more milestones for after that. And all this money is going to an incredibly good cause. So, we're going to throw this one over here. Now, let's play the game. Did you think it crashed again? Did I trick you? Did I get you? Probably not because my background's animated. So that you could tell if it wasn't working. <laughs> Got him! Zing! ba ba boo hey, hey. Okay, so we're playing a game called If Found. I know nothing about it. And um, its main menu screen, quite frankly, scary. If we raise $1,000, Mike will post to OnlyFans. Fuck it, yeah. At $1,000, I'll post nudes. Fuck it. At $1,000 to the Trevor Project? That's worth, um, uh, uh, you know, a lifetime of embarrassment. I don't care. You post that as a joke, but yes. If we raise $1,000, you can clip this. If we raise $1,000, I will create an OnlyFans account and post pictures. I have no shame. I just want to do good in this world. And if that requires my butthole, that requires my butthole. Okay, looking good. Settings. Oh. Alright guys, beat the game. Anyway guys, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> we okay it looks like it's gonna sound okay it looks like we're good to go this is a game called if found it was recommended me to a bunch by a bunch of people i have no idea what's going on in this main menu screen now we're just gonna hit resume um i am using a mouse Go away. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, I think it was just letting me know that I could use a mouse. Uh, uh, oh, it's Annapurna. Oh, you. this is a lot. This is really a lot. My brain is like exploding. Hold on. We gotta turn you down, friend. Now, this is, little known fact, this is exactly what the dev uh, wanted for the experience. They wanted me to click off and talk over everything and tell jokes. So, that's pretty cool. It was made by Dreamfeel. Epic. 
actually already into this. Kind of already loving this. 750 million kilometers from Earth. In orbit around Jupiter. I've never been so far before. I need to go further. Only one more jump. And I'll be the first to reach Planet X. Goodbye, Planet X. It's still really loud. I'm all right. I gotta turn it down more. Oh shit. Okay, sorry. One second. Sorry, it's still really loud. There, that's that's more manageable for my ears. I've got very sensitive ears. I'm still alive. I did it. I'm directly within the orbit of Planet X. The, I've proved the theory. It's real. But where is it? These visuals. I like them. I like everything going on here right now. The music's good. The visual's good. I can feel its gravity. How could it be so small when its pull is so strong? These readings! Something's wrong. Uh oh. Dude, we're about to enter Dimension X, dude. Krang's gonna pop out and he's gonna grab us. This is a black hole. I can't erase the black hole. I can't. Oh, there I go. Oh. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on and I'm really into this. This has to be like a dream sequence. There's no way that this is what the game's actually like. Because this rules. Oh. Alright guys, well that was the game. I do this joke every single time. When's, when is streamer going to get new jokes, dude? I knew it. I knew it was a dream sequence. I knew it. This book belongs to somebody. December 3rd, 1993. I'm home. My name is... C Casio. Like the keyboard. Things to remember. Your earliest memory is your da. Holding you up on the beach. Lifting you over the waves. Rain coming in. He said, best get back or your mom will worry. Two, you finished two goes of college. Your... I can't read that. No, no, I, I was still reading. I'd like to go back. This book belongs to... Um, me, smile. Can I write? Where's the, where's the writing tool? <laughs> okay, the book belongs to no one. Okay, here's, here's Cassio. Oh, my legs! <laughs> December 3rd, 1993. Oh, we're starting from the top. Oh, okay. Okay, walking home. Next. I'm home. This is a cute little kitchen. It's a quaint, it's got a quaint little style. I don't know why I'm doing like an Eric Idle impression. Oh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, you finished two goes of college. Your undergraduate and your master's. Everyone thought you couldn't even survive on your own. You stick with it. When people stare, just ignore them. Think about the stars and the galaxies and dark matter. 
whatever it is. Remember how small and insignificant we all are. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, okay, I was reading that. I was, I was reading that game. Okay, you don't need to be nice to people who bully you. True. True. You don't need to need a relationship. Relationships don't work with you. You can try to be normal and have a relationship, but it never felt right, and that's okay. It's okay to be quiet and weird. Hey, that. See this? Me, baby. This is how I feel. I already super um relate to this game, and I'm digging it. Oh, new page. New page. Oh my god, new pages. So this is how the whole game plays out? This is interesting. Mom. Man. Brid. Hugh. Age 52. Likes. Hosting the knitting circle in the house. Watching winning streak on Saturdays. Hates driving. Excuse me. To Castle Bar. To, to do the big shop. Mowing the lawn. The parish council. My favorite thing about her. Watching her slowly pick out her tune on the piano from scrappy sheets of paper. True. I mean, I guess true. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Things to remember. She's from the mainland from Westport. She jokes that she came for my dad, but stayed for his five sisters. When I went to school, she started working in the post office. She only knows how to make how to bake a few things, but she has great commitment to it. Ma'am is determined that me and Fergal will pass on her brown bread recipe. The only thing she kept to da was his Sunday jacket. For me or Fergal when we were old enough. So, okay, so mom, ma'am, da, Fergal, Cassio, isn't, these are all like uh, Irish things, right? I mean, McHugh, that's, a, that's an Irish last name, or Scottish, or Scottish. I always, I think everyone gets the two confused a little bit, except for the Irish and the Scottish, who, um, if you even imply that you might have gotten them confused one time, uh, they will fucking beat you to death. So, Fergal likes Ga. What is, what is this going to do? Oh, Ga, the Gaelic Ath Athletic Association. Gaelic is an Irish thing, so... <sighs> Organizing body for the traditional Irish sports of Gaelic football and hurling. Okay. Uh, hates thinking. Yeah, you get him, Ferg. Fergie. Things to remember about Fergal. My favorite thing about him. We used to go and pick mussels together in Keem sometimes. He has a photo in his room of him at his Debs. Sarah is there before she left for Australia. She's smiling at the camera with his big goofy grin. He was the one who told me Da was in the hospital. He came and knocked on the door of my classroom, and I knew at once something was wrong. His favorite films are James Bond films. He watches them religiously when they're on the telly. Um, now, dear viewer, you may be thinking to yourself, Why, why isn't Mike doing a funny Irish accent? Uh, because that would be a stupid. Uh, that would make the whole game just be, uh, what if, what if Mike went, ooh, top of the morning to you, ooh, uh, uh, oh, why, oh, da, da. uh, what's the, what's the big fat Irish guy singing the song, you guys remember that? The streamer hates the Irish, hold on. Hold on. Um, big fat Irish guy singing a song. No, not the fucking fat bastard. He's Scottish anyway. First of all, uh, what's the Irish mash song? Oh, uh, what? Chat, I'm going nuts again, dude. I'm losing my fucking gourd again, dude. Uh, uh, Irish. 
I like match. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't. I have these vague memories, and I can't. Oh, come on, brain. Fire the neurons, dude. Let's check my favorites. I don't think it's in my favorites. It's this big, it's this, this old, it's this middle-aged Irish man. And he's like, he's singing a song that's like, uh, he's like, um, uh, give me lots of taters, give me lots of mash. Give me lots of sausage. Give me lots of hash. Give me lots of beans. I like them down me cut. I'm a big fat bastard. Come and kiss my butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> big fat bastard song. <laughs> it's just going to give me the Austin Powers thing. I actually found it. That actually worked. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I've conquered all the chippies. I'm never gonna stop. Chips and peas and gravy. I've had the fucking love. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza <laughs> and chicken vindaloo. I'm a big fat bastard because I love my fucking food. <laughs> alley, alley, alley. <laughs> alley, alley, alley. That guy's from Liverpool. That guy wasn't even Irish. <laughs> See, all right. So if you mix up the Irish and the Scottish, you'll get yelled at. If you mix up the Scottish and the British, you'll get yelled at. And if you mix up the British and the Irish, you'll get yelled at. They just, um, they need to, like, move their countries away from each other. Have they ever thought about, geez, I don't know. Has Ireland ever thought about, like, getting away from Britain in some way? Geez, they should do something about that. Okay. December 4th, Saturday. I'm home for a month. Then I can get back to Dublin. Fine, fine. It feels like I haven't been on the island in years. Research jobs, projects, long hours doing inventory in the supermarket. Anything to keep myself away. Ale, ale, ale. <laughs> I wanted to write a letter to ma'am. Hi, this is who I am. Here's my name to... Couldn't. Good memories here, too, for what that's worth. Tea, hot water bottles, say your prayers, sleep tight. Mammy loves you, loves a you. So now I feel like I should be doing an accent, but I don't I don't think I can do a good Irish accent. I can do... <laughs> I can do a Liverpudlian accent, but that's not Irish. We just established that. And I can be like, I can be like, mm, tea in Ireland always means the blend. Irish breakfast? It's an excellent, extremely high caffeine variety. Almost always drunk with milk and often with sugar too. But that's but that's British, right? That's Liverpudlian. <laughs> but it'd be like if I was reading like um it'd be like if I was reading a script for a Sopranos episode with with my uh vaguely Caucasian voice, right? It'd be like if I was like Hey, Carm, where's the gabagool? We're gonna have to take care of this guy, yeah? <laughs> I'm just not one for accents. The only accent I like is a southern accent. I, we'll just read it in a southern accent. We'll go, hey, I'm fine. Also, I think this is supposed to be really emotional. I'm just shitting all over it. I'm in like too, <laughs> I'm like too high of a mood, but I'm so, I'm sober. Chad, I'm sober. Here, I'll do a, I'll do a breathalyzer live on stream. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Look at that, completely sober. 
Why, yes, I am 13 years old. Sunday. Back from Mass. No air in this house. Nobody has drawn breath here since Da's wake. I can't stand sitting around. I need to breathe. I pedaled down the road like if I just went fast enough, I could leave it all behind. Sat on Keem Bay. Watch the horizon. Then Column appeared. Column! It is you! Well, haven't you changed? Good to see you again, Column. Call me Cassio. Nodded, smiled. You should meet my boyfriend, Jack. The weather approved the brightest day since October. Hey, space geek! Monday the 6th. Fergal mentioned working at the post office again. No thanks. Too many faces. Met Colum and Jack at the abandoned village and climbed up Sleevemore. Jack was all teeth and laughter. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed enthusiasm. I don't think anyone from Akhil is that relaxed. A band? You're kidding! No, really! With a young gun, Shans, a real talent Shanzer is. We're called the Banshee. Jack's on drums, of course. Call him the bassist, setting the groove. Shans sings and writes. I wonder what he's like. There's Jack. Jack looks cool. So there's a, 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 a... This is two weeks in a row with games with bands, which is cool. Look at that, it's all on the big mountain. You guys ever play um, Line Rider? Let's do a Line Rider stream. All right, someone, someone, uh, someone add that to the dock end of streams to get to. Tuesday. Got hungry. Went up to Degort, to the tea shop. They make the only decent sandwich on Akio. Telling and hearing five years of stories, Colum had much more than me. Come hang out with us if you want some space, Cassio. We're out in the big house, out towards Keem. The three of us are living together. It's amazing. Yeah, it's grand. At least after we clear down all the broken bottles... Come watch us practice. Maybe the month will be grand. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining in the kitchen. Old room, old habits, old home. It was nice to be fed and to sleep in my own bed. Although it felt like a coffin, so dark and so empty outside. I got up to think and figure out how to talk to her. I assume her means ma or ma'am. See, that's the thing about the, the Irish dialect that's always screwed me up, right? Like dad is da and then mom is, is uh, ma'am, right? But here, you know, with my southern accent, uh, you got ma, and you got daddy. A plan. I just wish it was, um, you know, ma and da in Ireland. And in America, too. Let's, we need to remove as many letters as possible. 2.12 a.m. December 8th. Things fall apart. My wee pet. What are you doing awake at this hour? Hey, ma'am. Just wanted to make a cup of tea. 
Oh, the pot's on, lovely. Uh, what do you have there? Nothing. Ah, uh, I thought you might be drawing. You used to do such lovely drawings when you were small. Our little artist. Maybe I should have gone to art school instead. You had so much potential. You could have done anything you put your mind to. Did you know Luke got a very good job in Castle by working for the bank? Well done, Luke. He said there's always looking for people. Said it's very technical, lots of numbers. Ah, ma'am. And not this again. Uh, don't tell anyone, but his ma'am said he's making near 35 grand a year. That's not nothing, dear. Uh, see, I, and this is why I don't do Irish accents. That just went like Lucky Charms. Uh, ma'am, I'm going back to college in January for a PhD. Uh, don't come after me, Lucky Charms. Uh, I just, I, I, I'm, I can't do accents other than, um, Southern. And what does that get you? What will you do then? Will you make any money with that? You can't keep scraping by, pet. And you know we can't help out much. I'm gonna do what I really want to do. Stars and things? Yes, the building blocks of everything. Well, uh, okay. And how are you gonna look after yourself? Not to mention, of course, a, a family of your own. Pet, I just don't understand this whole alternative thing. There was a great show about teenage phases on Liveline the other day. We need context on that. Liveline is an Irish call-in radio show about current events and social issues. Focused on political and social topics. It's not a phase. I'm 23. Look, uh, you're going to have to face facts. Settle down with a nice woman. Get your life in order. Once you have children of your own, you'll understand. I don't want the same life as you and Da. He wouldn't even entertain this for a second. We always wanted the best for you and Fergal. Then let me live the life I want to. How can this be the life you want? With that hair and those clothes? It's none of your business. Oh God, you really lost. Dublin, that university, it's changed you. You let it. You're not the person I've known. And what gives you the right to say who I really am? Don't you dare take that tone with me. I'm your mother. Well, you should act like it then. What does that mean? Aren't mothers supposed to love their children? Well? You have no right to say that. I've struggled every day to raise you. And if not for me, you'd be out perishing in the cold. Ungrateful Wayne. Jesus Christ, I can't take another minute of you. Come back here this instant, and don't take the Lord's name in vain. Oif. I, uh, I get, I get the game now. I get it. Uh. Casio is trans. I may be the last person to realize that. Chat, you're smarter than me. I'm sure you figured that out a while ago. Showed up at Colin's door, soaked to the bone. In my head, I could hear ma'am saying I looked like a drowned rat. Hey, Colin! Colin opened the door. He looked at me once and took me inside. This game rules. I'm I'm really into how this plays. This is such a like cool way to do a visual novel. It's a little hard on my wrist, but you know, fuck it, I've played Mario Party before. This is better than that.
Oh wait, this is a cool space voice. Anyone? Come on, answer me. Damn it, the anomaly. This black hole, it's gonna devour me. Devour all of us. One last message before communication cuts out. I'm going in. If I can't save Earth, at least I can find answers. Dr. Cassiopeia, over in hell. Wait. Uh oh. Hello? Voice mod. Voice mod's not working. <coughs> That's all I wanted to do. Why is voice mod not working? Doctor! Doctor! I can hear! some jams you can't put a band in a game and not fill the game with jams but I gotta say I'm really into this soundtrack I love this like ambient synth stuff so much oh uh hi I, I didn't mean to wake you up uh, sorry uh, nice to meet you bye oh oh what was that? Okay, good night. This game reminds me a lot of Florence and how it's a, a visual novel presented in a really interesting way. It took me a long moment to realize where I was. My head was throbbing. I looked around. It was the big house. Colum's new place. Their squat. My breath relaxed. 10.45 a.m. December. Coming and going. Jack jumped through the sitting room door. Wakey wakey! Even his grin was loud and happy. Food's coming. A lot of rashers. Colin was the next apparition at the door. His voice was much softer, encouraging me to get up while the food was hot. My eyelids still wanted to close. I didn't know how to say thanks, but I rolled onto the cold wooden floor and pulled myself up slowly. kitchen smelled so good. Oh, hoo -hoo. oh, I don't know what I just did. It was the guy with the guitar. Shant. I didn't know if I had been dreaming. I complimented his playing without thinking. Oh, it's nothing really. Had I said something stupid? I couldn't tell if he was shy or cocky. Down. Welcome to our fabulous abode, Cassio. Sit thyself and prepare for a breakfast extravaganza. I outdid myself as always. I was salivating at the sight of the fry up. Ugh. 
I could go for some food right now. I didn't. All I ate for dinner was uh, some sheets curly fries. Call him. I like calling a lot. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Colin's like, uh, Colin's like that fat bastard, <laughs> but with comedy. <laughs> See, you can't call, you can't call that guy a fat bastard, right? Because then, then Austin Powers sues you. Then Mike Myers shows up at your door and he's like, yeah, baby, here's a cease and desist. Groovy. I think that's Earthworm Jim's catchphrase. I don't know. They all seem to be comfortable in their own skin. So open with each other. But we're sitting at the table when Angelus played over the radio. It was noon. Oh my god, I must have needed a big sleep. Man would have had a fit if I was still in bed at home. Hold on, there's hidden things. Jack T. Shun while I ate. Uh, looked down many salty crispy rashers. <laughs> They're good. It's good. I realized my like old man voice. Oh, wait, there's a trail here. My old man voice has just turned into Hosea from Red Dead 2. Whenever I'm uh, or like my um my like enthusiastic old man voice cuz like my normal old man voice is like Oh, hello, children. Or, like, if you want to do a plinket, like, I could do plinket of, like, Oh, I love Tostina's pizza rolls. But, um, there's another old man voice that I'm really into, which, yeah, is just like Hosea from Red Dead 2. But just like, well, hello there, kids. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but we'll sure try. Uh, and I like that voice a lot. That voice is like, centers me, I don't know. I wonder if I could go back. No. Or was there anywhere I could stay in Dublin? I don't know. Colm interrupted my thoughts. He calmed me down. You're not going anywhere, kiddo. That's a good friend right there. Colm's cool. <sighs> You gotta give me a tool to, like, add this stuff back, man. He, uh, I needed it. He's been through this himself before. <laughs> a home. Even if that home is leaking and damp, turned out the only suitable room for me left was their practice room. I felt guilty, but cared for. Look at this. God, wouldn't you love to live here? What a beautiful house. Just like home. How pretty. The vine situation, I don't I think would end up um maybe a nightmare, but I don't know. It looks cute. It looks gorgeous. Watching the toy show with Colum was like being kids again. Big kids looking out for each other and eating too many sweets. <laughs> is this what having friends is like? Kiss me, honey bun. Ah, uh, he's attacking me. Oi, get a room. <laughs> We're going, we're going. Come on, Mogira. Irish for my love. Magra. Mmm. I gotta keep that one locked away. Magra. Uh, slan, losers. Quick way of saying goodbye in Irish. A shortened version of Slan Abali Abali. Or safe journey home. One dialect would pronounce it as slon. Gaelic is very interesting to me. 
it makes no sense and I love it. Awkward silence, awkward silence, awkward silence, awkward silence. Uh oh. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. So, uh, how did you three meet anyway? We all went on a trip to the tip this year from Castle Bar. It was some crake. Crake. Literally the Irish word for fun. <laughs> I'm learning so much Gaelic, dude. This rules. I'm going to do streams only in Gaelic from now on. In the middle of a jam, Jack told me we're starting a band. I can't believe it. I hope Jack knows that I have the music ability of a broken wheel. <laughs> I'm glad to have you in this house anyway. How'd you even out end up here? I knew this place is the scary ghost house when I was a kid. Colum suggested it. We were talking about putting together an EP and we needed somewhere to practice. That's so cool. We got an actual gig coming up soon. That'll be deadly. I wish we were a bit more focused on the music though. Sometimes I think Colum and Jack just like having a place they can be together. Oh, I was a little surprised at breakfast that you were so comfortable around them. Ah, it doesn't bother me. Colum and Jack are good people. They're outsiders and I'm an outsider too. And it's legal now anyway. <laughs> About time. But it is kind of intense living on top of each other sometimes. So I'm really happy you're here. Now I can talk to someone while they're busy snogging. Hooray! You know, I think I did the leaving with your sister, Asha. What is the leaving? The leaving certificate is the university entrance exam in Ireland. It always happens over the first two or three weeks of June. It's commonly seen as the harbinger of good summer weather. Your family owns Niles Chipper, right? My dad runs it, yeah. We all got roped in to help. I remember when Asha moved into my class. I never heard a Manchester accent in real life. Well, she's back there now with my mom's sister. She's studying medicine and everything, just like mom. Cool. She was nice to me. I haven't talked to people from my class in ages. I left Hackhill so quickly after school. Everybody leaves Hackhill. I didn't think it would be so different when school ended. Tell me about Dublin. There must be all kind of things happening. Gigs, parties, party gigs. Probably. I don't do much in Dublin. Or talk to anyone. But there's libraries. Mostly I read about physics and work and do computer stuff. My parents would love you. Well, I might be looking for new ones. Would they like another child? <laughs> Oh, it warms the heart, chat. It warms the heart. <sighs> Night, Cassio. Oik meith. <laughs> what is no? Okay, the Irish for good night. One dial. Uh, yawa. What? Almost like the word why. Yawa. How the hell do you get Iowa from Oikmaith? <laughs> Gaelic rules, dude. <laughs> Chat, let's get really into learning Gaelic. Okay, second room, second room. Oh, turn off that light. Oh, we're just going to bed. Good night, John boy. That's a boomer reference. Uh oh, we're going into the moon. And or sun? Probably moon. Uh oh. Uh oh. December 9th. Band practice. All day. I sat in the corner and listened. Jack, you're coming in too soon, he huffed until Colum kissed his cheek. By tea time, they were playing in the dark. 
The house's mishmash of wires couldn't handle their equipment and lights. It's a compliment. I told them they sound like Bon Jovi, but it didn't go down well. It's a compliment. Jack shook his head sadly. <laughs> Not everything is perfect. The house is freezing. The immersion doesn't work. And I've learned a lot about different types of mold. But who cares? Jack Coleman Shans are all so nice. I'll figure my life out tomorrow. Or the day after. And wash my one set of clothes. Tenth. A rare blue sky. I wanted to get out in the fresh air. And Shans joined me for company. Spotted Mrs. McGinty in a field halfway up the hill to the low. The, the loo. Her sheep running ahead of her. She whistled sharp. I didn't think she recognized me, but gave us a short, swift nod before she turned back up the hill, sheep in tow. We talked about Manchester and Dublin. I don't know why I said Manchester like that. He was very impressed with my astrophysics. There was an eviction notice from the guards when I got home. Don't worry, we get one every week. <laughs> Woke up and Colin was lighting a fire. I could feel the warmth return to my bones. I chopped a peat briquette into thin layers before the rain came. We had to ration our fuel. Our fuel. Now I can't speak English correctly. But I just wanted to blaze the blaze going all day. Oh, yeah, I know. Next page. Shans put on a tape as we hung up some Christmas lights. The four of us lay around the room listening to the cure. There's a strange sensation in my body somewhere. Has a weight dropped from my shoulders, or have I lost something important? I don't know. I don't know! Uh-oh. Saturday, 12th. Shans went home and I missed him. Cullen brought the rest of us to his Aunt Maggie's. Cullen stayed with her back when his parents kicked him out. She has a nice cottage overlooking Dugart Beach. Half swallowed by fuchsia brushes and giant rhubarb. She called us all wee lambs, made us cup after cup of tea, and insisted we stay for dinner. Chops and peas and coffee cake. The cake was unbearably dry, but I ate a big slice anyway. We left before it got too dark, and she gave us a huge shopping bag of food to take back. There were four selection boxes in there, too. Things to remember about Colum. He likes junk food. Goes weak at the knees for a pack of crisps, especially if they're salt and vinegar. Colum O'Malley, age 24. I, uh... I wonder why everything's crossed out and sorry's written. I'm, like, getting nervous thinking about that. Loves bass, walking... Walking bass lines, Jack, Aunt Maggie, Akil... Hates working in the Corrigans, news agent, cities in the summer. Cities, the summer. He'll take care of anyone and anything. That's how I met him, because he was feeding a stray cat near the school. My favorite thing about him, the way he awkwardly rubs the back of his head when he's nervous. Why are we erasing everything, you know? <laughs> it just makes me nervous, chat. For all the kindness... He has a wicked sense of gallows humor. His laugh is surprisingly loud, given how quiet he is. Colum doesn't do half measures. It's like the way he feels about Jack. He's always all or nothing. Colum is good to tell secrets to, but he's not great for giving advice. He's not that good at making decisions himself. December 13th. Starting to forget my routine before I move to the big house. I wake up at 12. I'm out of bed at 1-ish whenever the band starts. 
Fergal on his little post bike with a letter from mom. I wonder who lived here before some landlord dead generations ago. At three, there was a knock and then a bang on the door. I saw him coming through the curtains, so I disappeared. Fergal on his little post bike with a letter from ma'am. Jack, who was Jack, was the one who opened the door, the one who handed me the envelope. I haven't left my room since. I talked a lot with Shens. He had a solution for everything. I have no things, so we're going to go get my things. Tonight, the two of us will rob my house. <sighs> Oif. Hello? Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like this. To the occupants, your tenancy of the dwelling at Kroger House, Kiel West, Duag Akil Komeo is illegal, and an application for a court order of forcible removal has been submitted. If you do not leave before 14-12-1993, and Garda Siokana will be called in. You have the whole of 24 hours of the termination date to vacate. It's zooming in more. Stop that. To vacate and give up possessions of the above dwelling. Any issue. Da -da 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 -da. Eat shit, pigs. Okay. My dear son, I don't know how to explain that I'm not who she thinks or wants. I don't know where to start. Will she ever call me Cassio? Now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. There's there's our if we didn't know before, we sure as shit know now. Cassio is female to male trans. Male to female trans. What the fuck? My brain, for some reason, flipped that. My dear son, I've been waiting for you to come home all week. What's happened all of a sudden? You're like a different person. Whatever it is, I know things will be right as rain soon. I want... You to know I forgive you for the things you said. You were angry, and we all say things we don't mean when we're angry. Maybe you're afraid we come home because of that. Maybe you're afraid you've ruined things between us. But it isn't true. I'm still your mom. I'll always be here. I haven't touched any of your things. I did notice some things that you might want to talk about when you get back. So we'll go through it all together. Decide what to keep and what to throw away. She's trying, but she has all these ideas of how I should be. Missing you, your ma'am. She didn't even consider she might need to apologize to. Yeah, fuck that. Parents, they just don't understand. That's a... Jesus, that is a grave oversimplification of the situation going on here. Uh, heist plan. Walk quietly to Duag via the bog road. Open my bedroom window using the janky hinge. Pack up my stuff. Don't wake Fergal. Don't wake Mom. Figure out life with clean clothes. <clears throat> Pretty. The clouds broke as we crossed onto the bog road. When I heard the stream, I knew we were close. Ten twenty PM December thirteenth, the Bog Road Heist.
before I met these guys, I couldn't have imagined the excitement in a million years. Chance asked me if I'd miss this place. It sounded so final. I just said no quickly. I didn't feel like talking about it. We climbed up the steps Dad spent two summers on. Sorry, I'm looking for uh, if there's any text I'm gonna miss. Doesn't look like it. I remember sick days at home watching Bosco on the TV under blankets. Who's Bosco? Bosco was a very famous TV show for children that ran during the 70s and 80s. The host was a non-gendered puppet in a box who is still fondly remembered in Irish pop culture. Huh. I remember fights about whether ma'am should make apple sponge or apple crumb for dessert. I thought about our old dog, Molly. And the way she snuck in under my arms looking for rubs. And how light she felt in my lap when she died. That one got me, chat. Oi. Okay. We got a show to do. All right, break it in. Hey, don't get your mud on my jacket. I'm in. Alright, we're taking the whole bookshelf. And this picture frame. And take the light switch. The room never, never really felt like mine. Or maybe this room is so blank because I hadn't figured out who I was. All I wanted was to sit in the back of the class and read books. Maybe this room lacks identity because there's always had to be ready for guests. Granny at Christmas, aunts coming home, cousins from St. Paul. My chest hurt as... oh. All my old clothes were things other people thought I should like. I didn't care enough to have an opinion. My chest hurt as I looked at my bed. Part of me wanted to crawl into it, bury myself in the cool sheets and their familiar scent. I think that's everything. How can such a small empty room have so much stuff in it? I should have brought a bigger bag. Whatever. I can fit. Whatever I can fit will be all I have after two decades. Footsteps in the hall. Uh oh. Uh oh, chat. Uh oh. Monk Omega. You. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I thought you were a burglar. I can see you, you know. Do you ever think of ma'am? You complete gobsheen. Hi, Fergal. 
What if she had heard you? She's probably awake now, worrying about the robbers. Who's gonna rob us on that hill? It doesn't stop her fretting, you know. Cassio, are you okay? Who's that? None of your business. I know you're living in the big house. What of it? Lots of rumors about what goes on there. They're all like you, right? No one is like me. You're the biggest freak around, that's for sure. I'm leaving. Hold on right there. We're not done. Shans, take my bag. You're gonna regret this. Sooner or later, your choices are going to catch up with you. I'm jumping. Catch me. Keep your bloody voice down. Man, there was something about that one that just, uh, that got to me, uh, in a really weird way. Uh, I don't know. Well, the dog thing, I think, is pretty explanatory. I, I think I... <laughs> I don't know if I need to go into that one, but there was something about what was said about the room that, like, connected with me, because I remember my childhood bedroom... My brother and I, we never got a choice on what that looked like or anything. I mean, my bed is still that bed that my parents picked out. And they went for, like, this, this like, nature theme. And it was, it was, it, it never truly felt like ours because of that. They didn't let us choose the theme, you know? Strange. But it is what it is. Okay. You're already so close to Event Horizon. Please. <laughs> Can you hear me, Doctor? Yes, I'm here. Who are you? Midge. Me. Call me Control. Don't have a first name? Something less formal? Control will do. Okay, Mr. Control. It's good to hear your voice. I thought I'd never talk to anyone again. Are your vital signs? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Did you get my data? I'm looking at your readings now. The anomaly is definitely unnatural. And with its trajectory, it will intersect with the Earth in only 24 days. If we get more data from the event horizon, we can do something, right? Maybe we might be able to find the event that caused the anomaly in the first place. We don't have time to send a probe. I'll do it. What? It'll kill you? Don't be so pessimistic, Control. Like you said, there's still hope. This is reckless. Doctor? Doctor, respond. Please, call me Cassopia. <laughs> They're running away. <laughs> Sorry, was having a monkey moment. I run collapsed into an out of breath walk. I realized all I wanted in the world was a bag of steaming hot vinegar chips. Steaming hot chips and vinegar. I asked Shans about his da, Chipper and Keel. He's fidgeting with the zip of his jacket.
He asked me if that's what I really wanted. His family would be there. I was too hungry to mind. If you want to escape family, you go to Dublin. You don't get stars like this in the big smoke. Oh. Eleven forty PM, December thirteenth. Casopia was over Q. Is Fergal why you can't go home? He's grand. I'm but used to it mostly. We haven't really got on since I went to college. Oh he seems like a complete tool. It's my ma'am. I just can't handle Sorry, I just can't talk to her, and I can't handle how she looks at me now. We keep having the same arguments and talk about everything except for the obvious. The only reasonable option left is to leave the country forever. Then she'd be stuck with Fergal. Oh god, that's a terrible fate. You don't sound angry with her, though. Hmm... I am and I am. She's done a lot for me. I love her. She raised us by herself. Dad would always be away in Scotland for most of the year working. I'm sure she loves you too. Maybe, but we never really used that word much around the house. I guess it's not an Irish thing. My parents are so open with affection, it's gross. They've no shame at all. That's sweet. Almost been through a lot for my da. He's from Akil, right? Yeah. He, he left for work and ended up in Manchester as a porter in the hospital. If he lived in Manchester, I would stay there. If only. Mom ha even had to sign a letter to the priest that all the kids were being raised Catholic. She's still adamant that me, Tara, and Neil join da for mass every Sunday morning. So the neighbors don't forget we're just like the rest of ye. Where, what is this? Hello? Well, hello. Speak of the devil. Go on. Give us a, beat of pe a bit of peace, Tara. I just want to meet your new friend. Nobody in this family could mind their own business. What? You mean you don't want me to tell mom and dad you're here? Ugh. I'll see you on Sunday. Isn't that good enough? I'm Cassio. I'm living with the band right now. And that's good. I'm glad they're still going. Neil bit me a fiver the band would break up before Christmas. They're all really talented. Talented and annoying? Sounds like my big brother. Lovely to meet you, Cassio. Cool name. That's my wee sister. She's a terror. I like her. She said my name's cool. It is. It's nice to hear people use it. Really? I hate my name. Shans? <laughs> no, that's a football nickname. I'm not even gonna try. Nil Ion Sins Agam. I don't have a chance. The pronunciation of Sean's is the name is the same as Shan's. Like chance but with a sh at the end. Shan sh like chance. Chans. Chans. Oh at sh at the start. Chance. Okay. I, at least I've been saying that one right all night. My name is Ishan. It's Indian. Will I stick to Shans then? I mean, I don't know if that feels like me either. It feels like a character, but isn't that what a nickname is? You could change it. 
your name is whatever you say it is. I was named after my grandfather. I can't imagine what my parents would say. The trouble I'd get in even... I, the trouble I'd get into even if I even suggested it. I picked Cassia for a game at college and then just... It grew on me. Yeah, of course. Wait, what? You picked it? Obviously, I thought you knew. I mean, yeah, I didn't think about it. That's cool. Oh, we're evaporating. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chat, we all know the hand game. We all know what's going on. Uh-oh. This is nice. Thanks for talking to me. The lads from town would think I'm a weirdo talking about names. We're all weirdos. That's true. I used to wish I was normal more than anything. I thought I could fix myself, and then I realized I didn't need to be fixed. Uh. Oh, uh, I I'm sorry. Hands. Hey, punk. Mom says to come upstairs and stay the night. Alright, time to go, Cassio. Hands. Hands, chat. Hands, chat. Oh, this is... Okay, that's kind of creepy. That will drive you back to Dog in the morning. We're leaving now, Tara. See you soon. Mom says you'll die of the cold out there. I love you too. Bye. Open. Closed. A. Hey. Oh, chat. The tension, chat. Fourteenth. The story of the heist spilled out over breakfast the next morning. Jack called us criminal masterminds. After a cold, dripping shower, I got changed into clean clothes. Everyone was mighty impressed that I had a different t-shirt? Poggers? <laughs> I don't know what I just erased. In the evening, we watched Into the West. I made hot chocolate for everybody by melting down two selection boxes. It was a treat. Wednesday, I went with the gang to the old, the, to the post office to get the dole. Artist salary, starving artist, more maybe. The queue was shocked, but everyone was friendly. People of all ages, but mostly older. I won't let that happen to me. I won't get stuck on Ack Hill, spending my evenings and my dole in the pubs. What is dole? A word for unemployment benefits in Ireland. Oh. I kept a distance just in case Fergal or Mam were working. Colin got another written warning from the guards about the house. Shen suggested that we could live in the sea caves up by Dugard Hill, famous five style. There was also a letter for me, but I didn't open it. They bought some cans in the shop to take home. I didn't drink. Sixteenth. We went to bingo. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? We're going to bingo. <laughs> Me and Jack went to put up posters for the gig next week. Fox's Den, number 10. Cup of tea, number 3. Lovely Legs, 11. I'm doing all right, buddy. I'm, uh... I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. It's a Friday night. I'm playing this interesting game. I'm doing all right. We're ra we're raising good money. Look at that. Look at that total. I'm doing all right. God, I love bingo. Let's do a bingo stream.
I don't know how that would work, but I'm going to figure that out. We're going to do a bingo stream. <laughs> we got a few looks when we arrived. Uh, we're raising... Uh, when did this happen? Uh, over the course of the last week. And we're raising it for the rest of the month. We're raising money for the Trevor Project. So, I know you always like to donate bit one bit by bit. But in lieu of that, you could donate to the Trevor Project. See? Five head. <laughs> we got a few looks when we arrived. Most of them are older women. I only ever saw at Mass. But we spotted Auntie Maggie and joined her. No one paid us much mind after that. We won a shampoo gift set. Thank God. We really needed some in the house. Everyone looks a bit greasy. Things to remember about Jack. Age 25. He comes from a big family. There's seven, eight children. Jack is somewhere in the middle, but I keep losing track. Hates. Sitting around doing nothing. Rain. Reading. He's vain about his appearance. He keeps trying to teach me how to use moisturizer. Loves. Sitting around drinking cans. Cooking for others. An adventure. He talks about leaving Ack Hill like it's a question of when, not if. Colm's always wanted to stay. My favorite thing about him... Jack's a great person to watch TV with, joking about whatever's on. He likes making things, but he's not great at cleaning up after himself. I will. Yeah, he says, but never gets around to it. And he gets sulky if you push it. December 17th. We woke up to a flooded kitchen floor. Burst pipe. Cullum said, rubbing the back of his neck. Happens when it freezes, he said. Cullum's head was stuck under the sink all morning, and he did what his father taught him. Maith on Bakiel? Literally, good boy, but used in context. It means something more like, well done, you're the man. An Irish person might also say, good man yourself, or good on ya. The pronunciation is ma an buhil. Okay. <laughs> Chris, thank you for the $16. Uh, the message is smiley face. Chris, thank you so much, dude. That puts us over our goal. We're now over $200, which means we're going to do this. Thank you so much, Chris. This means we're going to, this is just like, blew my brain that means we're gonna do a a cooking stream at some point a cheap creates cooking stream wow thank you Chris. man we really might be able to to go insane uh no you know leaving me with 69 is all right i'm not gonna complain about a good 69 Thank you though, Chris. That's that's too we hit the we hit our goal of 100 last week. Now the new goal of 200. Hit that. Uh next week's goal is 400. So can we hit that? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll set that all up tomorrow. But keep getting those donations in. Keep sending them in cuz it doesn't stop here. We've got all month Keep them coming, but th thank you. So hey, 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 hey. I, I should probably do this at the end of the stream, not now, but thank you so much to everyone who's who's donated so far for the Trevor Project. You know, now more than ever, we should be helping out our fellow, our fellow, uh, I hate saying man, because it's so gender specific, but that is the, the saying. Helping out our fellow persons. And, um... I just, yeah, thank you. I feel good. My heart, like, 
screw six sizes. <laughs> thank you, Chris. And thank you to everyone who's donated. All right. Back to back to cleaning up the floor and learning Gaelic. Shans and Jack helped with mopping and towels. I felt a bit useless, so I kept out of the way. I thought about writing a letter to ma'am again. Shans uh, pulled a paperback from somewhere and tossed it to me. Asimov. When I'd read before, but I was happy to read it again. What, what, wait, what books did Asimov write? Asimov. A Asimov. What, you got, like, uh, Garfield's first book, or? I, Robot, Caves of Steel. These look like nerd books, dude. Why didn't he write, uh, uh Ready Player One? Okay, it's not gonna tell me what books he wrote. Well, there's, the, there's something, he's got something to do with robots, I remember that. I remember that, at least. Okay. Saturday. Opened my letter this morning. It was from Fergal himself. What a bullocks. Shans took me for a walk down to Kiel and then to Akil Sound. It was a lovely... It was lovely. I love the sea. Even with the gulls screaming their heads off in the pale sky... The wind was pushing us around, so we didn't talk much. It felt nice just being with someone in a comfortable silence. Ended up reaching the football pitch, and we sat on the stone fence. We both bonded over being ter being terrible at ga. What is ga? You're not going to tell me what... Whatever. I had to go on Saturday morning for years, though I couldn't do even the most basic drills. What is ga? What is ga? 19th. New pen. Part of the attic ceiling fell in during the storm last night. We saw it from outside first in the gray morning light. Could have been a lot worse. Colm used a tarp for Jack's drums to cover it, but that won't last. The place is starting to feel a bit scary. Shen stayed with us, and we had a makeshift Sunday dinner with a leg of beef Maggie sent us. Found myself missing my mud group. Mud group. Multi-user dungeons. They were an early form of online text-based role-playing. Nerd! I knew people in colleges all over the world. No one from Akil, though. Is there even a computer on the whole island? Twentieth. Tonight, after practice, we all went down to Keem to make a massive bonfire on the beach. It was a pre-gig ritual to ward away evil spirits. Everything was sodden after weeks of rain, so it was definitely magic that the fire started. I just erased everything. I feel so bad erasing like all the nice little sketches and everything, but that's how you progress in game. Golem had some lighter fluid, which probably helped. We sang songs in the drizzle. Our backs were soaked, but the heat in the crake was cheering. I meant to burn my letters, but forgot. There's like something coming through on this side. No, there isn't. There's something I'm erasing on that side. Okay. Uh, hello, you got a letter from the university. Very fancy. Sealing everything. Ma'am couldn't open it. Said she couldn't. You know how she is. But I did. You didn't get that scholarship. Who are you trying to cod? I see you living with those wasters, dossing all day. They're dragging your family through the mud, too. Whole island is talking about ye. It's weird. You're making a holy show of yourself. You always wanted us to think you were an awful smart, too good for real work, sucked up to the teachers and convinced the odd pair to send you college. And for what? 
cop on. If you want to be weird, do it in your spare time. Right now, you have to come back down to Earth. Fergal. Is he lying? What the hell do I do? Set list. Oh. <laughs> Fergal um, is kind of a prick. I kind of fucking hate Fergal. Set list. High cost of living. No name. Queen of Akil Tender Death. I just erased it. 80s Ramp Walk. Play Louder. <laughs> Uh oh, black hole. Castle Bar, 10 p.m. Tuesday, December 21st, 1993. The high cost of living. Jams! I could hear them playing. I wasn't too late. Jams! The floor was shaking. Colm's bass. The dark community hall was a mess of bodies. Black tees with metal bands, denim jackets, and badges. I pushed and shoved to see them up close. The lads looked incredible. Look at them. Jack was at the back. Going wild on the drums. Probably missing beats, but who cares? Colm's bass was perfect and smooth, keeping the others in time. It's really hard to dance and read at the same time. Shan's guitar and voice had the crowd on tenter hooks. Epic. Epic. The band she finished. Everyone loved them. So many cheers. A world away from practice in the big house. After Colm, Jack, and Shans left the stage, the room seemed to get even more packed. Darkness filled the hall. The music started again. When the lights came back instantly, when the lights came back, I instantly fell in love with the first woman holding a guitar that I saw. I felt the rumble. I felt the distortion. I felt like a dork. She owned the stage in her massive boots. I jumped in fright when she roared and then I kept jumping. The Nosferatu, the heaviest band in Mayo. I was getting crushed between people. I wondered if I was going to die. I didn't care. I just wanted to be there. <laughs> yeah, this is rules, dude. Jack, he danced like a superstar. Yeah, yeah. He started flailing at me and I joined him. Being friends with this legend made me feel like a superstar too. I danced for so long, I thought my arms and legs were gonna fall off. <laughs> In the anonymity of the crowd, I was free. Oh, I love this game. These visuals, man, are just killer. Uh-oh. What's going on? This is, I don't think this is a good thing. Hello? It's 
the lights came up. My eyes adjusted to the horror of the lit hall. Everyone started to shuffle out. Slowly, as they recognized their sweaty friends, exhausted and happy, I was wrecked. I headed backstage to find the gang. Even the ground looked sweaty underneath the litter of lost beer cans. What the hell? Jack announced a house party at her gaff. Nosferatu are coming. They're going to drive us all the way back up to Akhil. Oh, cool. Look at this art. Holy shit. Look at that. I'm in love with that. Party. Ugh. <laughs> I'm kind of, I don't know, I kind of relate. I'm not I'm not trans or anything. I don't have body euphoria, but I definitely relate to just feeling completely burnt out socially. After like while a social thing's going on, right? Like my social brat batteries burn quick. And so I I can relate to that aspect. Here you are. I couldn't find you anywhere. What are you doing in the attic? I wanted some space, and my room's kind of full. There's some people I haven't seen since Squirrel Damat. I'm not very good at talking to people. I didn't think. Uh, will I kick them out? It's fine. I don't think that they recognize me. Oh. I just wanted to chill and look at this guy. Yes, yeah, this isn't like him. I really like I really like a really intense time, but for a short span. And then I like to just chill. That's how I am. So I, I I get this, man. If my mom caught me smoking, she'd kill me. Mine's a bloody doctor. She sees patients with lung cancer every other week in the hospital. Maybe this isn't as bad as cigarettes. Still smoke. Well, we're gonna die sometime. Yeah. <coughs> when I was 10, my grandmother in India died. I never met her, and then suddenly I never could. Mom told me she was cremated. It's strange, but I like the idea of her ashes going back into nature. Life keeps going. Atoms develop into proteins, into cells, into us. That stuff hit you hard, huh? Shut up! <laughs> the universe is 13 billion years old. And it just gets more complex, more intricate, weirder. Every second is totally different from the last. Um, now this chat, this is, um...
Listen, if you're not living in uh, a legalized state, uh, this is just burnt paper. We did it. We did a skit one time where where we needed to pretend to smoke weed, and we just took a roll of paper and lit it. That's what this is. Now, if you're in a legalized state, this is weed. Are you saying we have to make the most of the time we have? You're assuming time is even real. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something personal? Totally. Are you, you know, like Colum and Jack? I, I don't know. Maybe? Does it even matter? Does that mean you like girls or boys? Both? Neither? I like sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I like being here with you. It's nice. Thank God for heaters. We were living in limbo and then you showed up. Ack Hill is limbo. It's weird to see classmates who never left. We could be ourselves in Dublin. Imagine if we lived together. I'd like to live on a barge someday. We could live on the canals. And you could teach me about space. And you teach me the guitar. I could reinvent myself like David Bowie. For real, and not pretend anymore. You're pretending? I just think the guy other people see and the real me are very different. Who's the real you? I don't even know. Not Shans, not Ishan, someone. Look, I'm telling you, give yourself a new name. Hey, can I hang up posters in our barge? Yeah, uh, of course. You can hang out whatever you want. <sighs> Will we have plants? If you take care of them, I'm a plant killer. <laughs> I think I got a good nickname. Oh? The Barge Bard. <laughs> Hey, do you ever think about the ozone layer? I ship it. Uh-oh, black hole. Black hole sin. I can't sing this song cause I'll get sued. Day 10. Since first contact. There has been no response from doctor. I have confirmed the trigger event for the anomaly. Fourteen days left until the event, when it will reach Earth. I got the data. Please receive. You're still there! Of course. I'm a professional. It only took a few minutes to align my orbit and escape again. It's been a week! Con Control, I detect wormholes nearby in all directions. Space-time is being ripped to shreds. I think I can use them. Oh. We're pulling through. First jump was a success. You're back! My readings say I'm somewhere between and beyond Neptune. You've traveled five, fifty thousand kilometers in a few days. In a second. That's an unbelievable distortion of space-time. And this is just the beginning. As the black hole expands, the time dilation will only get worse. I've been analyzing the data you sent yesterday and... Keep it up. Gotta go. I can see Ganymede. Hello. I have good news, Doctor. The source of the positron entanglement is Earth. Good thing I was headed that way. I found something in the data you sent that might tell us more about the trigger. It seems to be an image of some kind. An image? Is it of use? 
I don't understand it yet. But I'll find out more, Gordon. Right, gotta go. Bye. By the way, my name is Dr. Coomer. That's canon, by the way. 12,000 kilometers from Mars. Cassopia, I made a breakthrough. I found more evidence of the original positron annihilation that caused the anomaly. The trigger event, it hasn't happened yet. Its effects are rippling back in time. That we could stop it. Do we know what we have to do? Not yet. I'm still decoding this image. I'm more sure than ever that it's the key. And I've narrowed the event's future location to Ireland. It's not far. I'll send you my location and contact. Call me as soon as you arrive. By then, we'll have less than a day left. Then I'll see you soon, Control. About that. My name... Jumping! Is Bubby. Oh, my name is McHugh. But you can call me Mac for short. See you soon, Casopia. Got it. Don't be late, Mac. And put the kettle on. I think I think we're getting to the end. I woke up comfy. Light came in through the roof. This is all moving so fast. There was something heavy on my legs. I was still wearing last night's clothes, even the shoes. Oh God, is someone still downstairs? 6 a.m. December 22nd, the back of beyond. <gasps> was this someone's arm? Ay ay ay! Oy 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 do 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 Ain't that sweet? Chance, hey, you're on top of me. <laughs> hey. Wake up, sleepyhead. Get off me, Egypt. It's <clears throat> probably the closest I've been to anyone except my man. <laughs> hey, are you still asleep? I was dreaming about us. I dreamt about aliens. So I know we probably shouldn't leave until after Christmas, but I've been thinking... What? So we'll need to find a flat first, right? Shents, what are you talking about? Moving to Dublin together, obviously. <laughs> we were kind of out of it last night. But we're going to Dublin, right? You're serious? We're not going anywhere. You're like 18, 19? 19? I'm mature. I can't take care of you, Shans. I, I can barely look after myself. I want to look after you. Slow, slow down a second. Cassio, it's hard for me to say this, but I have to. I think I like you. What? Get off, Jesus! D don't you want to kiss me? I don't want to kiss anyone right now. I really like you, Cassio. I got that. I told you things I've never told anyone else. I didn't ask you to. You made me realize things about myself. I, I see myself in you. I have no idea who you think I am. My life is falling apart right now. You don't want to be me. All the more reason to leave. We'll move off this island and everything will be great. I don't even know if I have anything in Dublin to go back to. The PhD is gone. And your parents will be worried sick. Who are you to talk to me? Who are you to talk to me about worrying parents? I can't handle this. I'm sorry. Shut up. Please, Cassio. Stop. Please, Cassio. Cassio? Cassio? Cassio, come back.
Can I just say fuck? Cause like, fuck, dude. Hello there, Casio. Oh, hi, Maggie. Isn't the frost beautiful? Cold, though. And the wind is fierce, too. Yeah. It's a happy surprise to see you so early. Especially after your big night out in Castle Bar. All that music and crake. I didn't sleep very well. Well, there's nothing like looking at the sea to calm a restless mind. It was a terrible leaving every September when I taught in Castle Bar. What's wrong, pet? Is it your ma'am? I don't mean to pry. Only Colum said. Uh, it's a lot of things. Whatever it is, it's smaller than you think. These things always are. We'll go home for Christmas and it'll be forgotten like that. Colum and his dad are like cats and dogs, but doesn't he see them every year? Uh, I don't think so. What was that? Colum doesn't go home. He was with Jack last year. They had frozen pizza. This year we'll have a chicken, though. You're joking. He didn't say that. Christmas dinner in that rotten house? The state of it. It must be freezing. And damp, too. Is can't live like that. That's a disgrace. The roof will be gone before you know. It kind of is. Bits of it. He could come to me. I love some company at Christmas. I think they're more comfortable being themselves. What do you mean? You know, around you they can't just be open with each other. Oh, but... I mean... You keep things like that in private. That's just how it's done. We all have our own crosses. We have a nice chicken anyway, and Jack is making jelly. It was bringing it out in the open that caused all his troubles. That's an awful thing to say. Asking him to hide who he is, if he even could. Sorry, I should go. No, you're right. He does care about you. And like... He definitely appreciates you taking him in after Mr. O'Malley kicked him out. I hope he knows I care about him too. People used to say I was a bit queer. They'd say all kinds of things. People are mean. Hold on to the good ones. Call them Jack. I could never hold on to anyone. I kept thinking there must be one good man out there, but there, never w there was never one for me. My father told me my only hope was to become a nun and get an education. Were you? You don't look like a nun. Almost. I hid from everyone. But I couldn't hide from God. Myself and Colum are more alike than I want to admit. I'll have to get a bigger goose. What? Tell Colum you're all coming to me for Christmas. And you're moving out of that, that place. I have a spare room and a lovely comfy couch. Not as or buts. It'll be the best Christmas going. And sure, we'll figure out the rest of it all on Stephen's Day. St. Stephen's Day is the national holiday on the 26th of December. You may also hear it called Boxing Day. That's more associated with English people. Okay. Yeah, I know it is Boxing Day.
I met Colin when I got back. Shens had left. Took all his stuff, too. I didn't want to talk. There was someone on my couch, so I laid on the floor. Okay. Things to remember about Chance. Ishan Shans Laville. Dislikes Akil. Talking on himself. Smelly fish. Black pudding. He gets on best with his brother Neil. They play football in the garden sometimes when the weather's good. Age 18, 19. Did his leaving last summer. Likes music. Reading. Music. Science fiction. Manchester. Music. His mom's cooking. Music. Bought his guitar with some cash from working in the chip shop. He's never been to India. He doesn't even really know his relatives there. He wants to go sometime, though. His favorite writer is Arthur C. Clarke. I'm going to make him read A Swim Two Birds, and he'll love it. He is terrible at lying. My favorite thing about him... He something on a nearby surface, hammering out little tunes. Twenty second of December. Things change so quickly before you're ready at all. Colum was upset and Jack was furious. He said the band she are finished because of me. Shance told them they're done. I went to hide in the attic, but it was raining. It's not what the fuck? It's not Cassio's fault. Everyone from the party cleared out. Someone called the guards on us. A noise complaint. We have 24 hours to get out. The big house is done. Maggie is coming back tomorrow to get our stuff. Twenty-third. Maggie drove up to the house this morning in her old banger. You'll catch a death staying there any longer. It was kind of nice being scolded with kindness. We all we bundled all our stuff into a car, but then there wasn't enough space for us to sit. So myself, Colm, and Jack had to walk. It was a very silent journey across Dak Hill. We played dusty board games by the fire, and we all warmed up a little. Maggie finally realized I wasn't always a girl, and she was very nice. I suppose no one ever expects it. Jack even kind of apologized for being upset at me. Maggie's cottage only has two bedrooms, so I'm on the couch again. It's a small one, but she has cozy woolen blankets. I like it. Maggie O'Manley. 63. I felt bad asking, but she just laughed. Likes tea, Feeney's whirls, trad music, painting, the Legion of Mary... My favorite thing about her, the way she prepares tea. She uses a loose leaf and she's really careful with it. There's a lot of art in her house. Apparently she's popular with the artists who lived around here. She learned Irish from her grandmother who didn't speak any English. Her grandmother left her the cottage when she died. She taught English and geography. Dislikes cold weather, drunk people, licorice, marry two names from down in the village. <laughs> Before I knew her as Colm's aunt, I knew her as one of the readers in mass. She still does it. She has a lovely, soft singing voice. Not just at mass. She gets called on to sing whenever there's a session going in the pub. Twenty fourth. After my first hot shower in weeks, I helped Colin prepare for tomorrow's dinner. I was hoping I'd get to talk to him about what happened with Shans, but I just couldn't. In the evening we went to the pub for a Christmas Eve pint. I wondered what I'd do if Shan if I was Shans, but 
he wasn't there. Fergal was, though. Great. Fergal, the biggest piece of shit. I wasn't expecting it, but through the crowd, our eyes met. It felt like a punch in the gut. I drank my diluted black currant quietly and didn't look that way again. As we were leaving, he pushed an envelope into my hand. I wasn't going to give this to you. Dear child, the post office is closed now. This is the last letter to be delivered. Fergal and I both, both worked our feet off our feet with the rush of cards. I recognize so many of the names. Young people you were in school with, too. All gone. Some of them in Dublin, some of them in the States, or Canada, or Australia. I'm glad you didn't go that far, but you're not home either. It made me think. I've heard things. I understand you're not who I thought you were, but I can't believe it. This seems so sudden. There was no signs. You never told me you were unhappy. I'm sorry if all of this is my fault. I must have raised you wrong. People do say it's bad for your child to be tied to your apron, but I just cared so much for you, pet. It's okay if you like men or dress funny, whatever it is. The world is changing. I won't get mad. Not on Christmas, but I'm worried about you, that's all. You're making life difficult for yourself. I just don't know where you'll end up, and if you keep it quiet... Sure, what you do on your own time is your own business. No one else should mind. I'll see you soon, and we'll talk at last. I've been making mince pies. I made as much dough and filling as I normally do, but it took much. Longer than I thought without you, silly. Silly old me. There's so many, Fergal won't finish them by himself. Ma'am. I'm, I'm legit. I'm like heated. I'm legitimately heated. There was so much snow. I wasn't sleeping. I couldn't stop thinking about ma'am's letter. So I was awake at two in the morning when it started. The gentle hissing as it hit the window finally helped me doze. This is a good Christmas game. Kind of. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> it's Christmas in June, chat. Woo! Jack woke me up early, eager for presents. Colm came in, came in behind him with a cup of tea. 8.20 a.m. December 25th. Extraterrestrial. We all rushed we all ushered into Maggie's living room with cups in our hands. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like getting choked up over Christmas. <laughs> I didn't have any presents for anyone. But everyone was so nice. Maggie gave me an unopened box of makeup. Colm joked about being the one he gave her last year. I was delighted to have passed, have it passed on. I wonder if Fergal or Ma'am had anything for me. Soon enough, it was time for mass. Maggie was very kind about none of us coming to mass. 
So kind, it was obvious she was really disappointed. I never missed mass on Christmas before. This didn't feel like Christmas. All I could think about was the letter and ma'am. I decided to go home. It was easier to just go than to keep chewing on it. <laughs> Cassio, you don't have to. If you want to go, do. Just don't feel like you've no choice. Family isn't only family isn't only the one you're born into. And you feel like more of a sister than any of my actual sisters. Don't forget that. The turkey is delicious, ma'am. Thanks. What's wrong? Nothing. Would you pass me some more gravy? It's so good. How was mass? Oh, lovely. So I gather you didn't make it? It was hard to get there in the weather. And was it the weather that made you avoid us the last few weeks? The priest gave a very nice sermon about the importance of family. Oh, were there many kids? Of course. They came out and told us everything they learned about the nativity. And why we must look after the needy. Margaret O'Malley was looking after myself and Colin for the last few days. She was very kind. She's a strange one, all right taking in other people's children. Can I have some sprout? Thanks. Is there anything on TV for Christmas? Oh yeah, they're showing the movie you were in. What are you talking about? E.T., of course. Though, they made you a lot less ugly for the TV. You did love E.T. when you went with your da. For months afterwards, you used to spend all day drawing the cutest pictures of people in space. I had one on the fridge for years. You never put up any of my art, ma'am. Because you never drew anything, Fergal. Shut your gob. Shouting? That's not very ladylike. Jesus, Fergal, what is your problem? What's my problem? You abandoned your mother and left her worried sick for weeks. Then you show up out of the blue dressed like that? Come on now, Fergal. The story of the prodigal son. Is that all you're going to say to him? I didn't come home to be ridiculed. I hope you came home to apologize. I'll give you an apology if I can get some too. Stop. Let's just enjoy the dinner. I was peeling spuds all week and I'm just glad we're here together. Now you see why it's been hard to talk. It's even harder to listen to this crap. Ma'am! I don't understand, pet. Why do you need to understand? Can't you just accept me? What me are you talking about? The one I've known for 23 years? Or the one I've known for two weeks? It's the same me. And I want you to know me better. I want us to be in each other's lives. Are you threatening to leave again? I need some air. You can't just run away forever.
The air I needed was two kilometers away in the snow. And it was cold air, and damp air, but it was quiet air. got to move dude Happy Christmas Twenty sixth back in the big house it was a strange burning smell when I turned on the light in the kitchen this morning. It's falling apart, but houses don't fall apart all at once. They do it slowly, piece by piece, room by room. The electricity isn't safe, and I don't want to light the fire. I don't want anyone to know I'm here. Seventh, Shan's walked past the house today. Headed for Keem Beach. He didn't see me. Our conversations are wriggling through my skin. At, a, at about half past four, there was a knock. I blew out the candles and buried myself under a blanket. Are you in there? News around the town as you lot got out. Heard the guards were coming and scape scabbard. But then I told me you hadn't been seen at old Miss O'Malley's house. Did they turn you away? Fucking Fergal. I want to kick Fergal's ass, dude. I guess no one really wants a weirdo like you around. Man was worried sick about you. Can't believe she still cares. You'd think she'd have given up on you by now. I have. Voicemail. Damn it. McHugh, please leave a message with your name and. Damn it. Where are you? If you would like to talk about my account and C services. Ring. What? Is this a joke? You're an accountant? Hello. Pick up, pick up. Tell me how to fix this. 
I don't know where to go. Your name and number. I'll get back to you. Except you haven't, Mac. I trusted you. Hello? You've known for weeks when I would arrive. And now I can count the time we have left in hours. You've reached the voicemail of... And I have nowhere and no one left. And there's no one on Earth who even knows who I am. No NASA to whisk me away. No, not even an accountant for mail. Just some sheep in a feud while a black hole devours the Earth. At least I can witness the end of everything under a nice clear sky. Hello? Twenty eighth. I woke up coughing this morning. Hope I'm not coming down with a dose of something. I saw Shans through the window this morning again. I had to do something. So I walked out in the wind and down onto the beach. Shans, Shans, Casio. Hey, so, uh, how are things? Oh, fine, you know, same old. What are you doing here? I thought you were with Colum and Jack and Dugert now. Jesus, you look awful. It's complicated. Of course it is. I was with them, then I was back home, and now I'm not. Yeah, he always seemed to make things complicated and weird. I'm sorry, Shans. I was surprised. But we could fix everything. We could go get Colum and Jack and put the band back together. We could just be friends again. The band was a dream. It was never going to happen. were so good. We did nothing all summer and then played a single gig at a community hall. Where's this coming from? What happened to you? It's just reality. What about Dublin? What about Manchester or India? Don't be stupid. Herring off without money will only have me crying home on the phone anyway. God, you're like a different person. I don't even know you. When I went home, I found out about how people talked about the lot of us. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know. I liked you, but that's not me. Wow. Do you hear yourself? You have no idea what it's like. I'm already an outsider on Akko. I don't belong anywhere. I, I can't. That's why we have to look out for each other. I just want to be normal, Cassio. And I'll never be normal with you. Thanks for waiting. I made some tea for you. I thought you might be a bit dehydrated from space. You're an accountant? Uh, yeah, I'm also a bit of an astronomy geek. Oh god. I picked up your signals. Did you not tell someone important? Ah, uh, well I wanted to, but no one listened. And I had to do something. Thanks. Thanks, Mac. It's nice to meet you. For real. You're shorter than I pictured. 
But what do we do now then? The source of radiation is on the far side of Akil. Akil Island. There's a bus coming soon. We're waiting on a bus to save the world. It's usually on time and we can sit up the front. I have no idea what's going on, chat. Twenty-ninth. It's so cold I could light a fire. But even if I wanted to, there's no fuel. I have to break a chair or something. Getting by with blankets and hot tea. At least the kettle works. Maggie Colum and Jack, but I don't. My chest feels tight, my body hurts. I can't stop coughing every time my head spins. What is this game? What do you want? I can't do anything. Why can't I do anything? What am I missing? Uh, hello? There we go. Casio? Casio? Come out, pet. You can't live in there. It's not safe. Shan's told us, Casio. We know you're in there. I'm sorry things didn't work out with your mom, pet. Cassio, it's like I told you. We're family. Please come out. This is ridiculous. Are you sure she's really here? There's not even a fire going. We should call the guards. Something really bad could have happened. This is ridiculous. She's probably left for Dublin. The two of you waste so much time on her. She doesn't even appreciate the half of it. That's enough, Jack. Come on. Yo, Jack kinda suck, though. How'd you know where to go? This is the image I retrieved from the black hole data. It had an address on the back. I hope you're right. It's getting dark out there. The guards came back and Fergal with them. I almost called out, but I knew better. Fergal, this place is a wreck. I don't think there's anyone here. I know there is. I heard movement and I saw lights last night. I can't be wasting time on this. The big search is starting soon. For all we know, we'll find the body on the coastline. Searching this place will only take five minutes. I don't want to break the door down and find an empty house. The nuns would have my neck. Tell you what, I'll come back tomorrow after dark with PJ and we'll see what we see. There's someone in there, I'll get them out. I'm scared, I'm starving. I feel so sick I'm gonna die. Are you sure this is the right place? It's the only thing we've got. Okay. Pass the image to me, and I'll put it through the letterbox. She has it, but the black hole is still here. It's still growing. Who is she? Can she stomp the trigger event? I don't know if she can, but it's in her hands now. God help us. Hey, Mac. 
If Earth survives this, you want to see the rest of the universe with me? December 31st, the anomaly. I have to go somewhere. I can barely move. It's so cold. I'll burn the book. What the fuck's going on, chat? Oh, goodbye, Ireland. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, there goes the world. Uh, goodbye, world. You always sucked. Goodbye, space. Likewise, you also sucked. Goodbye, big space. You were all right. I have no idea what's going on, chat. <laughs> I can't tell if this is literal, the events happening are literal, or if it's all an analogy that is over my head. I haven't figured it out yet, chat. I might be a little too stupid. I'm scribbling as fast as I can, Captain. No, it still wants me to go. There we go. Game's playing itself. Game is playing itself. Every moment crushed together, past and present and future in one endless scream. Time doesn't exist in a black hole. So did they really fall into a black hole, or is this a metaphor? No way to change anything. No way to move. Our little artist. No way to escape. Oh god, you're really lost. Dublin, that's university. It's changed you, you let it. The two of you waste so much time on her. I just want to be normal, Cassio, and I'll never be normal with you. This is fuck, dude. Everything's okay.
Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. You poor thing. You're burning up. It's okay. Everything will be okay. Your mammy's here now, love. I've got you, dear. I've got you, Cassio. August 8th, 1994, Mam and I jived down to Kiel. The sight of the long curving beach underneath, beach underneath the Minnow Cliffs always makes me feel nice. It took a lot of weeding to get Mam to even think about joining me for a swim, and now that she's here, she's having second thoughts. You can boast to Fergal that you were swimming before him this year. She shrieks when the waves splash. I keep encouraging her and finally after a few tentative minutes and one final scream, she gets down. I let myself go and let the waves throw me around. I taste the salt water in my mouth and gasp for breath and enjoy being alive 
And most of all, I enjoy sharing it with Mam. The water's cold, but the wind is worse. So wrapped in towels, we dry as best we can and head to Niall's to Niles for some tummy warming chips. Tara is working and waves at me. I'm going to be teaching class in September, I tell ma'am. A tutorial class. I wouldn't be here without you. It means so much. Thank you. I'm just glad you're happy, she says. If being yourself makes you happy, then that's all I want for you. Being myself doesn't mean I'm happy every minute, but it means that I can experience emotion at all. Thanks for being here. Ma'am relaxed as she got older. Some of that was money. Once Fergal and I were both settled and doing well, things were easier. And she loves being a granny. There's no doubt about that. May 15th, 1994. Shan's directions lead me to a bar in Galloway, and then up the stairs to a tiny room. I can't imagine it fits more than 30 people. The new band doesn't even have a name yet, but he was really excited for me to come on the phone. I'm a little nervous coming by myself, but I want to hang out with Shans again. The music is so different to what the band she played. It's heavy, but kind of funky, and I find myself dancing without a thought. Afterwards, Shans comes over. He has a little gold hoop in one ear. He's full of confidence. He's on a high after playing guitar. We're full of talk for hours. He's excited about doing an audio production. Of course in September, but first he's going to go to New Delhi for the summer with Tara. They're going to visit some relatives they've never met. Aunts, uncles, cousins, cousins of cousins. Do you have somewhere to stay tonight? My couch is always open. Sounds good. I haven't slept on a couch in a while. This place is small, but it has a lot of posters. And a few plants, too. When it's time to say goodbye, I give him a hug, a huge hug. Anu.
They're my best friend. We've been through so much together. They know me better than anyone else ever will. Ten years since the event. The world has started to stabilize. Communications between towns and cities are, and even countries are commonplace again. There are no computers yet, but there's a demand for accountants again. Mac makes a reasonable living doing the books for local businesses around the West Coast. He's setting up a desk plant for his new cubicle desk when he hears the familiar roar of spaceships outside. Cassopia. He runs out the door immediately, dropping a heap of folders. Long time no see, Cassop. Uh, long time no see. Oh. Long time no see! I, I dropped that voice anyway. Cassopia says, grinning. Her skin seems to have been tanned purple by some strange cosmic star. It's only been a year, Max says. It's only been a year, Max says. But I'm sure for you it's been many more. They both laugh. As he looks at her, Max's chest gets uncomfortably tight. He was sure that he'd never see her again, that she'd already forgotten him. It was nice to know she hadn't. I have some great stories for you, Cassopia says. I'll tell you about them in the ship. What? Max stares at her. Aren't you coming? She says, surprised. I came back for you like we said. He doesn't know how to answer. I, I can't, Max says at last. I'd only slow you down. Cassopia stares at him, then nods. Mac? Yeah, Cassopia? Whenever you're ready, call me. I'll be there. I'll come get you. See you next year. Am I supposed to make me? I think I'm supposed to make me. Maybe? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Shaved head. Good. That's the way to go. I think I'm supposed to make me. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Sometimes, 
I wonder if I'll be remembered. And what for? The noble part of me says it's enough to be well loved and live a good life. The ambitious part of me wants a theorem in my name. Or at least a nebula. December 31st, 2018. Okay, no, so I was supposed to make Cassie open. That was phenomenal. I'm gonna be honest. Let's be completely honest. I'm very stupid. Okay, two mellow work on the music, which is, it's good music. Two mellow continues to be great. I'm a very stupid man. So I'm, a, I'm still a little bit confused on the, the blank, you know, the, what happened at the ending. I'm still a little bit confused on that because I'm a very stupid human being, but I absolutely adored all of that. That was phenomenal. That was really good. Thank you to whoever recommended that one. That was great. I'm really fortunate. And I don't want to go... I don't want this to be bragging. I'm very fortunate in that both my parents are very loving, understanding people. Uh, because, well, uh, in in my friend group, I feel like I, I, I stand nearly alone and that I have a very close relationship with my parents. And that's made me realize over the years how important it is to find friends that you feel like you are family, that you feel like can be a, a, a real family, to have that environment. And so I try really hard for my boys who maybe don't necessarily have the greatest relationship with their parents. I try really hard to create a family atmosphere because I want them to, to feel that love. I want them to feel loved. I don't know where I'm going with this, but my point is don't be fucking transphobic. I guess that's my point. I'm not sure what my point is. That was that was phenomenal. Are these all the chapters? Ah, I get it. Well, that was If Found. That was really, really solid. I I'm really, really impressed by that one. That one, that one got me, that one got me choked up uh, several times. That was really good. That was really good, and God, it. J if you're um, if you have gender dysmorphia or body dysmorphia or you're trans or, uh, I fucking love you, <laughs> like. I, I have such a deep appreciation, maybe not necessarily a deep understanding, but a deep appreciation 
for you. Um, I I hope in this fucked up a world, especially if you're American, that you're able to find love for yourself. Cause cause you fucking deserve it. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me put on some Dragon Quest V music. One second. There we go. I'm like emotionally drained after that. You know that like feeling after... This is going to fall again. I got to fix this microphone again. You know that feeling... Where you're like... Either you, you've had a big cry... Or you're like fighting back tears for hours upon hours... Well, <laughs> hey, hopefully you don't know either of those, right? Uh, that's how I feel. I feel that level of emotionally drained right now, which is good, you know? It's good to feel that sometimes. Sometimes that's the feeling you need. Anyway, well, we raised, we hit our goal of $200. We've, ra we've raised 200 for the Trevor Project. In two weeks. That's nuts. That's absolute. I, I told I told Clayton whenever we started this. I told him that like I, I I would I would be over the moon. Uh, legitimately, like I know I was saying like I'd be over the moon with ten dollars, and that's true. Any donation I'd be over the moon about. But I'd be over the moon if we hit a hundred, right? Because we hit that initial goal, and then we did that in one night. Now. It's a week later, and we've doubled that? That's... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so goddamn much. <sighs> but, I do have to match the donations. I am matching donations. So, this week, we had... $60. Now, I could do $60 and 69 cents. But I kind of want to keep the 69 cents. So I will match the $60 we've had donated this week. One second, I gotta log into my PayPal. But if you'd like to donate, I've been, I match these donations Friday night. At the end of the stream, I match the donations. Keep them going. Break my bank. Get my bank calling me pissed off. Let's do some good, chat. Especially for L these LGBT people. I don't know why I said it like that. Especially, honestly, trans people who are getting fucked over by the government right now. Donation processing. Wow. <laughs> I think my bank's already not happy. That donation's still processing. It'll get there. It'll get there. Hopefully. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, hello? Hello? My bank's pissed, dude. God. Well, that's gotta work at some point, right? Now I'm worried that like my bank account's gonna be frozen, but it's okay because we got we got Mr. Nuts on tap, dude. No need to worry, Mr. Nuts. Epic. The donation's still processing. Should I like? Duh. 
that like work or? Uh. Uh. -uh. <laughs> it's not doing nothing. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see if it goes through tomorrow. If not, I'll get it done tomorrow. But our our new total, it doesn't say it, but our new total is two hundred and sixty dollars and sixty nine cents, which is fucking nuts. We're over halfway to five hundred dollars. That's nuts. And at five hundred dollars, um. Uh, Fudge Films gets a t-shirt. We get a Trevor Project t-shirt or something. And um, I really want that. And that's the only reason I'm doing this is because I want the t-shirt. I'm going to wear it and every person I see on the street, I'm going to go, um, I did charity work. Give me your car. So, still, so keep those donations coming. Um, I gotta, th I gotta think of some new milestones. I gotta get some new milestones down. So check back, check back tomorrow for new milestones and everything. Um, and I'm gonna try. Uh, uh, I guess, I guess next week I'm gonna have to like go door to door and <laughs> beg people for money. I don't know. I think next week we're gonna get some donate more donations rolling in. So fingers crossed. Hopefully. But regardless, we've raised a lot already. We've done two hundred and sixty dollars worth of good. I'm I I can I could die happy with that. Don't kill me though. Don't kill me though. Okay. Well, next week we're gonna be doing more Yakuza. We're gonna be doing more Terraria. We're gonna be doing more Night in the Woods. And next Friday's game. Let's figure it out right now. Next Friday's game will be a normal lost phone. So, if you want to see that, get those donations rolling in and tune in to see it next Friday, 7 p.m. Comprende? All right. I'll see you then. I don't have a good ending bit. Um, tell you what, I'll just stab myself with a knife again. Here we go. Ready? Three, two. Sorry. Three. Two. Sorry. Three. Two. Uh, wow. I suppose that's all for tonight. Peace and love.